Is it working? Guys, thank you for tuning in and watching my channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing this bad boy, which is a 2019 Golf GTI. And literally, I'm gonna tell you about the exterior features and what it has to offer. This is one of the best spec GTIs you're gonna find anywhere. Stay tuned, folks. So as you guys have probably seen, it's the 2019 Golf GTI. Now I'm going to go over what this car has to offer in terms of spec. First of all, let's go to the clearest thing, which is these crazy looking wheels. Um, it really does set the look of the GTI off. They're in the 18 inch and they, they just look absolutely amazing. It gives it the GTI literally the looks. Um, I have to say this actually looks lighter than the Golf R. Next up, you've got the red strips that go through and follow up on the front through the actual main headlights. It really does give this car some character because GTI, when I think GTI, I think red stripe, original Golf, original GTI, trim work. So it, it, just, it just really tops off the car. You've got the GTI badge at the front and you've got some nice decals on the brakes. Then you've got these little corner badge emblems and this is actually in some form of frozen grey it's one of the best spec 2019 gti's you are going to see anywhere it's got the pan roof and it, it looks white but it's actually grey you will see slightly later on the comparison alongside the golf R. You've got some nice tips. You've got this little added rare trim work, which really does look fantastic. And you've obviously got the, the newer lights. Now in terms of interior, you guys a bit more of a POV. So what it's got to offer, you've obviously got your multifunctional options here. You've got your GTI badge full-on active display then you've got the media pro nav heated seats climate control digital you've obviously got all your other options here and the electronic handbrake the infamous handbrake yeah this nav system is pretty pretty amazing Let's switch that on you've obviously got your welcome to Volkswagen has a nice little touch there you've got the the badge that comes up and then you've basically got your performance monitor which is pretty sick in my opinion because you can see you can measure things like boost oil temperature etc obviously if you hit nav because it's the pro nav it's just a massive screen and this is probably one of the best nav systems i have ever used in comparison to mercedes audi etc it just gets you where you need to get to and the best thing is it's got these little 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 features that sort of do make a difference you think why the hell would i use such a thing but for example hand gestures so as you bring your hand closer to the screen if i take my hand away it does disappear there you go it disappears and i bring my hand back in and it comes back up so it means it, it doesn't obstruct your view and yeah it is a great cabin plenty of space seats are very very comfortable um
the video, um, I thought I'd talk about a few things in regards to the car. Uh, firstly, I want to talk a bit about performance. Now, this car does 0 to 60 uh, in about 6.1, 6.2 seconds. It's got about 285 pounds of torque. Uh, BHP wise is 245 approximately. All figures are approximate because I don't have any dyno figures to sort of um, really, really prove the point. Um, the price of the car starts from 25,000. And obviously depending on spec, etc., how you want to do it, the price changes accordingly. Now, the performance um in relation to the bmw 135 which is probably its closest competitor because this car doesn't really go majorly alongside the ford focus st because the ford focus st is a bit more of a boy racer car. this gti comes across as a vehicle that a family man could own um, and he wouldn't be seen as a boy racer now with the electronic diff on this one so the lsd it does put its power down a lot better than the predecessors so when i talk predecessors the mark 5 mark 6 gti um when you put your foot down it doesn't spin uh it holds the power a lot better between about 1800 rpms and 2600 you do get you get sort of um, the peak amount of its power and then it splurges out because obviously it's, it's the two liter turbocharged um, I would obviously recommend getting this vehicle remapped because that's when you really get the potential, that like full potential power out of it. I think on a stage one map, you are looking at approximately power output wise, um, somewhere around 280 bhp. Obviously, it's based on each tuner individually, but I'm giving you a rough, rough figure there. Um, it will change the drive dramatically, and sort of talking about drive, the DSG box in this is easily hands down the best gearbox they could possibly get because the way it changes gear seamlessly no other car can do and that is a fact fact in terms of it being a hatch it going through the gears one two three four five six seven um just sort of on the performance side i think if we link it to the vehicle sound the stock exhaust is loud it sounds good on the outside um it's not too chavvy you you basically won't hear it go whoa, 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 whoa. it's just more of a so deep little deep tone when you put your foot down and yeah it just just goes really well it's a great city car now now that we've covered the performance side of things if i talk to you guys about the economy this vehicle is great for fuel consumption um on the motorway if you consider urban consumption you're probably going to get somewhere around 40 to 42 miles per gallon as long as you're doing 70 mile an hour and you're covering the the lanes appropriately now if you think about city it's probably about 21 miles per gallon um that's with traffic etc in comparison to the golf r which i own myself the mark 7.5 that is a massive massive um difference because the golf r does around 12 in the city on the motorway you could probably get about 36 so fuel wise this gti is amazing now overall rating wise value for money basically this car i'll have to give it a four out of five because driving wise handling cornering it's a great car it's so fun to drive being a front wheel drive um it really does feel a lot more punchier than the golf r in terms of the way it's scary basically with the golf r you know where you're going what you're doing you do get some understeer here and there whereas with this car you can basically throw it in a corner and you can have a bit of a laugh and you can go sideways if you really want to obviously turning off the controls and it is an amazing car and that for you guys is the golf gti 2019 make sure you carry on watching my other videos subscribe to my channel and make sure you stay tuned because i'm going to have some serious reviews coming in um and you'll get to see what all these cars are like because I really want to bring you guys reviews of affordable cars, cars that everybody can afford and that can buy and sort of just give you a, an overview on, on the car before, before it comes out really. Uh, I know this one, it's come out but it is still a bit a new bit of kit. So.